how to use tail scale for minecraft hey everyone welcome to this quick guide on using tail scale to set up a private minecraft server for secure gaming with friends before we get started do visit the link in the description if you want to generate unlimited ai images in no time without a hassle this website is super handy and easy to use now let's get to the point and start our video Tailscale makes hosting a Minecraft server super easy and secure, no port forwarding needed. Uh, whether you are playing Java or Bedrock Edition, you can connect with friends anywhere using a private network. Let's walk through the steps to get your server up and running. First, head to tailscale.com and sign up for a free account. The personal plan supports up to 3 users and 100 devices, perfect for small gaming groups. Download the Tailscale client on your server device uh, like a PC or Linux server and all gaming devices like laptops or phones. Log in on each device to connect them to your private network or Tailnet. Check the Tailnet dashboard to see all your devices listed with a unique IP address. Next, set up your Minecraft server on the Tailscale connected device. For Java edition, download the server software for from Minecraft website for Bedrock, grab the official Bedrock server, install and run the server, no port forwarding required. As uh, Tailscale handles the networking, make sure it's running on the default port 25565 for Java and 19132 for Bedrock. Now find your server's Tailscale IP in the dashboard like this one in Minecraft, go to multiplayer for Java or servers for Bedrock and enter the IP adding the port if needed for Java. Hit connect and you are in the game. And if you want friends to join, use Tailscale node sharing in the dashboard. Select your server machine, click share and send the link to your friends. They will need Tailscale installed to join your server securely. It's a safe way to play without exposing your server to the internet. If you can't connect, ensure all devices are on the same tailnet in the dashboard. Double check the server IP and port and make sure the server is running. If you notice lag, check your internet or try Tailscale exit node features for better routing. And that's it. You have learned how to use Tailscale for a secure private Minecraft server, making gaming with friends a breeze. Don't forget to check out that AI image generation in the description to add some flair to your projects. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.